a pretty wild game, Craig. How would you sum it up? Yeah. I'm not quite sure, actually, what you say about it. It's probably one of the strangest games I've ever seen or been involved in. So I imagine you know, the, the crowd and the people at home watching on TV would have quite enjoyed it. You know, the, 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 the lead changed times and never really, I think, they got ahead by eight. And at one stage, that was probably the, the biggest lead anyone had. But, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I'm not quite sure how you describe it, but... Um, you know, we're, we're probably a little bit disappointed. We thought we, especially the first half, we had better reply, but we didn't probably take uh, as much advantage of that as, as we could have, you know, or should have. Um, and then it just got into a, a to and fro in the second half, you know. Obviously, you know, they've got a couple of players out, so they've done really well, but, you know, you know they were grand finals last year too, and they weren't that far away from, you know, uh, win the premiership, so we know they're a really good side, and um, you know I think losing Adam in the second half probably hurt them a little bit with their kicking game. But you know, like I say, they they're still in it with you know, a couple of minutes to go. So uh, yeah, like I've, I'm sort of babbling on you about nothing. Actually, I, I don't know how you describe that game, but um, you know, I think most people would have enjoyed watching if they, if they weren't a Broncos supporter or a Storm supporter. Craig, what did you make of how your, your bench guys gave you a lift at the end? I mean, Wishart gave you a boost. The other lads seemed to give a bit of energy as well. Yeah, well, Jack hadn't... I think he's ain't played two games. Um, so he, he was on there for a bit of coverage. And um, Sean, you know, he played, I think, 70 minutes last week. He didn't quite get that out today, but... Um, so we just put Jack on the edge, but you know, I think, you know, to put Wish on in the middle, we, we just thought that we, if we could get a bit of more run, you know, off off the back of Harry uh, and our forwards, you know, through the middle. Obviously, he's a, you know, he's a small ruck player, but you know, he's got that ability to to find space when you you wouldn't think there's space there, you know, and. <laughs> Not quite that was space right to try he scored. And, you know, I think we took him off in the last couple of, what's the name, because we had him and Harry there when we were in front and we didn't want, you know, the two small targets in the middle, you know. So while he didn't play long minutes, he's come up with a really important play and, you know, just he, he done a great job. Were you as confident as him, Craig, when he got that? Well, he seemingly knew he got it down. Did you think it was a try at the time? Um, yeah, I, I thought by his... Expression or his, you know, his movements after I thought that he must have scored. But then when you look at it, um, I couldn't see it there for the first couple of angles. But then I reckon there was one that you could see it down. So um, yeah, like uh, yeah, like for a small guy like that, you know, to you know, to get in between those guys and then get the ball down, it was you know a big play. A big play. Uh, what was it like out there? I mean, it, just to. Be- see both sides getting downfield so easily um, and Craig likes defensive minded game like what was happening defensively yeah there was a lot of momentum changes and um, points I guess against the run of play and uh, I think we were, we were pretty comfortable with knowing what we had to do but you know the Broncos are that team that they just kept finding finding ways to, to create opportunities and um, come up with tries and, and score tries and you know they left a couple out there so yeah like I said I think we were, we were pretty comfortable knowing what we had to do and um, you know it's just a bit of a shame that yeah we, we left it and, and made it so close in that sense but um, yeah like, like Elza said they were grand finalists last year and they had a few guys out tonight so um, I think they'll be real contenders this year. Uh, come to expect it from Jerome Hughes, but scoring a try and setting up uh, two more tries tonight, pretty influential. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, it's disappointing, you know, for us, but for him too, you know, missing last week. Um, so, you know, I think he had a, a bit of a point to prove. And, you know, we thought it was a tough call, you know, having to miss that week, but, um, you know, it is what it is. And, like I say, he just wanted to uh, probably make up for that. And, yeah, as you say, he did. And, you know, done a great job for us. Craig, you've now beaten both the last year's grand finalists in the first 
five weeks of the season in both in very different ways, though. <laughs> what does that say about your team, do you think, for this year? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Like I say, I was just saying to the guys in there, you know, like, we had Penrith round one down here and we won 8 nil, And then we beat the other grand final was 32, what was it, 34-32. Like, that's a fair discrepancy there between how the games were played and, you know, the scores. So, yeah, I'd like to say it's, it's nice that we've won some close games, but, you know, as Larry said, you know, I would have preferred, you know, I much preferred the 8 nil to 34-32. So hopefully we can... Uh, fix our defence up a little bit and, and get back to that. Does it mean your team can do both, though? Does it mean if you get caught in a defensive scrap, you can do that, but if you're getting a, you know, both way sort of running high-scoring affair, you can do that yeah. as well? Does it give you confidence you can score, you can play both ways? Well, obviously you can, but I'd, I'd lo I would like to be able to pick which one we, we're going to come up with each night, and then, so then you can sort of have a bit more tactics around it, but knowing whether it's going to be a, you know, a a low scoring game or a high scoring game, it's, um, you know, it's, yeah, like I say, like, you just rather know that you're going to hang in there and, and be consistent with, you know, the things we're doing, where it's sort of we've been a bit inconsistent, even though we've, we've fought, and, and, and that's been great, you know, we've, we've really, um, you know, when we've got behind, you know, we've, we've, uh, you know, fought to get back in front, and when we've been in front, we're sort of, you know, where we get a little bit, um, Overconfident, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, it, it's nice to be able to, to win games like that. But like I say, I'd rather be winning eight nil than winning 30, 34, 32. Sitting on top of the table after five rounds, have the, has the side exceeded your expectations? Who asked? Are we? Lisa. No one else is playing. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Dolphins yeah. still have to play, yeah. but at the so moment. So that'll be tomorrow. We'll yeah, be really yeah. fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will. yeah, I'm not quite sure where we are at the table, but at the end of the day, it's it's way too early to be looking at the table. You know, we only sort of look at the table about two thirds away through it, and then sort of try and work out a little bit of a plan there. But um, yeah, we just take each week as it comes, each training session that comes, and. I say, hopefully, uh, you know, for my sake mainly, can be a bit more consistent in, in what we produce out there. What sort of report card will Cameron Munster get on return? Yeah, I thought he was good, actually. I thought he was real good. I'll give him a ooh, B plus, an A, a perhaps. I'll give him an A. Like he, he didn't do anything off the top of his head too much, and he, I thought he defended well. Um, some of his kicks were probably... Uh, weren't that great, but I, you know, I thought he defended really well and you know, he'd come up with the right options at the right time. So, yeah, it's good to have him back and you'd just like to, well, you'd like to think now that he's going to just get better with a bit more match fitness, a bit more training. And, you know, again, you know, he played, you know, outside, you know, Sean tonight and he, he hasn't played with him, he hasn't trained much with him. But, so, um, you know, you'd like to think that combination is going to get even better. And I think, you know, Remus last year, he played, more on the right than he did on the left. So, you know, we've got a bit of, bit of work to do with the, the combination there. And, you know, I'm sure he'll have his say as we're going through. And, you know, they hopefully they can turn into a real good uh, left edge for us. Do you think that um, Eli Katoa is kind of recognising his potential, I guess? Like, you know, he's, he's such a big body, he's so hard to stop yeah. close to the line. And yeah, I, I, I thought last year, you know, he was... He was outstanding last year, to be quite honest. I, I thought he was, I wouldn't say a rookie, I think he's been around a little while, but you know, I think more than anybody else in the competition, I, I, I thought he was the one that was probably the most underrated, you know? Um, and he's just carried on that this year. You know, he's got a little bit more, I reckon he's a bit more confident this year because you know, he has played with Uzi a bit and um, you know, he knows what, he's, what his role is a little bit better, you know? So you know, he's been a, He's been one of a hell of a sign, signing for us, and not, you know, not only is he a you know, good footy player, he's a, he's a real good human being as well. Greg, just want to ask you about the speed of the play of the ball. Kevy thought it was not officiated well tonight. Um, did you have an opinion on that? Uh, no, I, I'd like to watch the tape and, um, and, and, and go from there. You know, like, there's a fair few play the balls there, and remembering all of them is a little bit hard, you know, so... Um, yeah, uh, I'll have a look at it then. I might be able to give an opinion then. 
Perrier. How did you guys handle the momentum swings in this game? I mean, particularly, I think there's one where the ball bounces into Mam's hands and he runs it in. There's late on, they drop a couple right on the try line. How did you guys handle the ups and downs of it? Uh, yeah, good question. I think it's just getting back to what works for you, I guess. And um, Like I said, they, they probably had a, a few tries that were against the run of play or where we felt we were in comfortable positions and um, just sort of concentration or decision-making sort of let us down a little bit. And um, Like I said before, they decide to, to strike and, and make you pay. And Yeah, I think that was sort of it. We, we, we knew what we had to do, but um, they just kept coming up with points at times and it was just about getting on with our footy and getting back to what works for us. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.